Hello guys, it's James here from Inside United and welcome here to Man today's match review of Manchester United's 2-0 and professional win over Hull City giving us Manchester United the advantage for the second leg away at the KCOM Stadium. It wasn't a great performance for Manchester United really, the first half was very boring, um, lacked energy for Manchester United which you can understand after the amount of games we played recently. Um, and we were the better side, we, we didn't have that swagger about us which we had against Reading and a couple of teams recently and I think that was the problem for why we weren't um, superb in the first half and Hull, we didn't really give Hull too many problems but second half was much better for United and Matt finds an out from close range um, to get a well deserved opener. Then Fellaini doubles the um, advantage late on in the game um, and I'm happy for him to get a goal. You know. Um, and I'm happy for him because of the fact he's had so much stick recently. He got even got booed in the Tottenham um, game not too long ago. And yeah, I I, I don't like him as a sort of player. Um, I don't I don't think he's he's good enough to be in the starting for Manchester United. And I don't think he's even good enough to even come on and play for Manchester United. But what he is, he is an option. You know, as I said tonight, he's come on and he's got us a go. If it weren't for Fellaini tonight, we're going into the second leg only one to one. So we've got to say, Fellaini, you know, he can give us some options. He can give us something. As I said tonight, he can give us that aerial threat in the box. And that is what he does very, very well. But the point is, we don't play that aerial threat often. So that's why I'm not a massive fan of Fellaini. He's got the ability to play for a club in the Premier League. And he's got the ability to cause defences problems but he doesn't suit Manchester United's playing style and that's why I don't like him but at the same time he doesn't deserve to get booed so that's why I'm happy that he has got his goal and contributed to Manchester United we got the job done tonight uh, we weren't fantastic as I've said but good teams win though when they don't play well Chelsea didn't play well for all their 13 games they won or something like that but they got the win and that shows the mark of champions I'm not saying we will win the league uh, when I say that I'm just saying I'm putting that in Chelsea's sort of reference. Um, Hull tried to sit back and absorb the pressure and hope they could frustrate us with a nil-nil but uh, you know let's face it we had too much room in the end and that second goal is such a vital goal in, 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 the, in the whole tie and the reason is because 2 nil is such a much different and yet better uh, way to go into that second leg um, than 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil lead can be wiped away with a piece of class, a fluke or a mistake. You know, you could get a scorpion kick like Giroud did the other day or Mkhitaryan did the other day. You could get a fluke where it hits a beach ball or you could get it where it's a mistake and that lets them in. You can A one nil lead can be wiped away within a minute of a football match. Whereas at 2-0, they either need to match it and beat us on penalties or beat us 3-0. And I can't see Hull beating us 3-0, um, especially in the form we're on. So at this moment in time, I say we've got one foot in the final. We're halfway there. We've got a lot of work to do. Nothing is done yet. We're not in the final yet. But we're, we've got one foot in the final. And yeah, as I said, you know, we just need to finish the job at the KCOM Stadium next month. And hopefully, you know, we'll get into that final. And obviously, we'll either play Liverpool or Southampton. I think I prefer Southampton because I think they're not as good as Liverpool. But, you know, I think we can take on Liverpool um, as well. And hopefully, we'll see Mourinho get a bit of silverware at Wembley at the end of February. Nine wins in a row now for Manchester United. It's our best run since February 2009, I read somewhere as well. It's a superb run of form. It just shows the improvement we've come under. Jose Mourinho and since Fergie's left, you know, we've not really done that much um, apart from winning the FA Cup. But hopefully we can extend this uh, record now on Sunday. We've now gone 15 unbeaten as well, but we've got a massive game on Sunday against Liverpool. What a massive chance that is to make up ground in the place in second. We only go two points behind the team currently play second. Um, looks like Morgan Schneider is leaving as well. Looks like he's going to uh, Everton, £24 million. Pounds. I think it's I think that's quite a good amount of money we're getting for him as well. It's a shame because I do think he is a good player. I think Schneider is a decent player. The only thing with him is he is a bit slow and he is a bit too defensive. And I think United we're looking for more attacking players rather than defensive. But yeah, I'll see you on Sunday for Manchester United versus Liverpool. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.